Sir? Sir? Are you on fentanyl? No? How you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel and welcome back to Brew Pub Simulator. The game that lets you run your own bar and destroy people's lives with alcohol. I don't know if that's the real truth, but hey, you know what the joys of alcohol does to some people. There is a couple of issues going on with the patch at the moment. I can't put those on a shelf because they fall through it. These keep coming out of here, so this video is going to be done in basically one entire say. Because I need to get all, f I need to get those out of as well. They are lagers. I need to sell them, and that's going to be fun. And then I've got my other beers on here, ready to be renamed by you guys. So thank you very much for all of the names that have been chucked in the uh, in the video. Excellent. Right. Apparently they fall through the uh, shelf as well, so I haven't put anything on them. So I'm just leaving them there. And the connection thing still happens. These still connect to those even though they're not connected it's all fun and games this so apart from that we're okay we've got one thing to do today we've got to make a chocolate beer which is going to be fun i've no i don't think i've really done a proper chocolate beer. we did one for the mission but we've never done one like this before so dear sir or madam i'm writing to inquire about the possibility of creating a custom beer for my gift basket i would like to request a wheat beer with vanilla chocolate and cinnamon flavors as for the quality uh, quantity a nine liters should be sufficient i appreciate your attention to this matter and look forward to hearing from you very soon so we need to make a wheat beer now i've never done a wheat beer before so this is going to be a whole new experience and a whole new sort of like mashup of what i'm actually going to be bothering to do with so it's been quite fun actually I've, I've i've been decking up the bar which is quite nice you guys have been sort of leaving me messages in in the uh, other video which has been appreciated i think i've got another like five names thankfully i've got another five beers to be uh, renamed well i think I've, you know, I've got six those four and those two see how things go right first off then get my inventory out put my cascade hops up on the shelf because that's where they go that's where i like to keep them because if i'm going to be honest it's nice to have them because i'm always using them it's always best to have them in front of me and a big bag of white yeast used yep that's exactly what we need so let's pin this recipe up and let's actually brew this if i could do this bang on the first time i'm going to be golden so I need to do 11 litres. I'm going to need another fermentation bucket as well, because I've, I've just used all mine up. Oh, bum. Right, cool. I need a big pot. So 11 litres of water. 1.2 litres of light malt extract. That's not light malt extract. That's the amber. It's because I was doing a lot of amber stuff. So I now need light malt extract. So this stuff, because I build a lot of APAs, literally, it's you just need a lot of that. So this is fine. This isn't even the most I've bought. Most I bought is like twenty, because filling up one of those is like seven point uh, seven liters of the whole stuff all the time. It's a lot of stuff, man. It's a lot of stuff. So we need one point two liters for this. There we go. Right, one point two, and then I need. 1.2 kilograms of this stuff 500 one kilo cool eight grams of cascade hops five six seven eight after 30 minutes add four grams of cascade hops i'm gonna assume i do this whilst it's boiling this is it as I said this is a really weird one for me because i've never done this like whilst it's boiling I'm hoping I'm about to do this right. So I need to do four grams of Cascade Hops at 30 seconds. So we're just waiting. And then at six, after 30 minutes, I've got to turn it off. So we are doing it for 60 whole minutes. It's just having to do it quickly like this is, wow, it's different. So here we go. At 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, four. Right, so that's at four. After 30 minutes, turn off the stove and wait till it goes down to 21 degrees. It's mad, man. Right, that's off. Now I need 10, 10 mil of ale beer. Ale beer, 10 mil. Still waiting. Excellent. So that's 10 mil of that. It goes up there. And then this goes... Oh, I need a pot. I need a fermentation bucket. There we go. I don't really give a damn about me overdoing it. It's just... Awesome. Okay, so that's got two days. So if I've done this right, 
this will come out at 15 to 30 IBU, which is at 17.3, and the SRM is 7, where it's between 2 and 10. So we're not bad off. Alcohol is 5.5% instead of 5.2 between 6. Okay, well, this should be fine then. I'm hoping. I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm crossing my fingers on this point. This, this video is not really. It's not about making money on this one. This one's all about trying to get this beer made because the process is actually a little I bit more different than what I'm used to, which is a bit more like pain in the butt ski. I'm not a real big fan of doing things too complicated. Let's put it that way. Okay, so this is a five star APA. I am going to rename this to Nikolai. Thank you very much for the name suggestion. Most appreciated. You are $5.88 of an APA. Uh, my strawberry berry cinnamon whirly one, which I believe this is a gold star. It's amazing if it is. Um, I'm going to name this one John T7. Thank you very much for the name. It's most appreciated. A coca, a coca coffee mint. This is a gold star. This is an APA as well. As I said, I brew a lot of APAs because you can mess around with the flavours, make them worth more money. It's all right. This will be Aaron Carver. Thank you very much for the name. There you go. You're a minty one. All right, cool. So that's... Oh, here we go. I'm not doing any of those just yet. So we've renamed this one, which is Nikolai. This one, which is John T7. And this one is Aaron Carver. And then we've got those two as well. So the lagers are in there. And we've got this one as well, which is for a competitor, which is for the other chocolate person. So I've got to skip yet another day of not making any money. May the force be with us. Yes. Let's go, baby. You know what time it is? We didn't make any money again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't shoot your own leg. Okay, so this is my American Amber beer. One of the ones I was working on. And this is just a standard American Amber Ale. This one's going to be called Rad Brad. Thank you very much for your name. You're $7.70. And the Wheat Beer, which is a four star, which I think is fine. This is going to be, I've got to rename this to the other person. Commander 3601. That's everybody that's me, that sent me their names over the last few days. Thank you very much to every single one of you. It's most appreciated. If you do want your name in a beer, let me know in the comment section below. Let's see if we can go from there. All right, first off then, I need to put not, I need to basically litter this up and put it into a pot. All right, so we'll go here, grab that, grab that, grab that. Now, I'm gonna accept the mission because we have to. So we only need to do, we need to do this over a three star period. So, well, three stars. This is a four star beer. I hope it's good enough because yeah, it, it definitely needs to be. And then I can get on and actually make some money because I'm going to be honest, money is a big thing. We need to start raking in some cash. Now, with the bar the way it is and how busy it does get, I do have to step in sometimes because I've got to be honest, it gets a bit overwhelming for the poor lass. So I'm going to bring in Nikolai because he's going. He, he is going up on there. Right, Nikolai, you're going into the big keg. 39 litres of Nikolai, so that's all good. All right, I've got to stick that up there. Well done, Nikolai. Uh, next, I just need a little keg, and we will take Aaron Carver. You're going up on the keg list, and there we go. And yeah, so those these three people here, these Brad Rad, Rad Brad, John, John T Seven, these two are going to be going. They're the replacements for these. Also, I've got those to go. So I will need two more beers, but I'm, I have to do those now. So, yeah, I'm, what I'll do is I'll take somebody's suggestion. Because somebody was, like, asking for, like, song lyrics, which I did ask for. But I might just call one Papa Roach, because someone did have, like, some suggestion of Papa Roach. One did Queen. So we'll go from there. All right, let's try and make some dollar. Right, let's do this. Are you ready? Are you steady? Let's go. Yeah, and I did put a massive statue on the bar. I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, I put a little shelf over here with some statues as well. Yes, madam, what can I do for you? Are you going to get some food? Have a great evening. I'll see you later. Because you'll have to come back through here. Are you not go? Are you not going to serve an amber ale? Oh, crap. It's because we didn't put anything on tap. That might be the reason why no one can buy any stuff. Start serving because I'm rushed. Right, okay. Uh, any beer? Have that one. It's lovely. Any APA? I actually have an APA. It's the... Oh, no, you're using that. Thank you. Like, if you can just help her serve for the first little bit, you're fine. Any APA? Not that one. 
I don't know which one's which anymore. I'm just I, I like just go go go. Wow, I served you right. We're all good. I think she might be okay now. Any, any, right, we'll get this one done. There we go. Right, I better start going tidy up now. How did all these glasses get used really that quickly? People are just like disappearing alcohol. That's amazing. Just clean up your table. Thank you very much for your participation in the pub. Most appreciated. Oh. I know. It's it's an, it's an actually. Did you see the game last night? What was he thinking? Right, we'll get these in the dishwasher. Forgot to put these ones in here as well. Stay there, buddy. Right, we'll wash these out. We'll get them in. She's such a messy pup. See you later, buddy. Have a good evening. Don't drink a drive. If you do, it wasn't me. I'll tell you what, that's a pain in the ass when you find a glass down the side of a table. It's like, no, I just leave it on the table. I'll, I'll deal with it. Don't worry. Right, we'll get that washed. We'll go and tidy up some rubbish. There's rubbish on the floor. On the floor. Yes, I really do have to tidy up because you guys are filthy. You're filthy people. Filthy dirt mongers. Na 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 you dirty 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 people I know I've got to go and empty the table outside as well because that one's going to get really full soon right we'll stick those up there clean out all those cool right let's go and empty out the uh, outside table because that's going to get a bit yeah I love these lights they're amazing they just add a little bit more sort of like atmosphere out here. I am gonna, I am gonna really go into like, I'm gonna have full ham out here at some point. It's all gonna be nice. It's just money at the moment. I'm trying to save up enough money to do the like paying off the debt as well. Paying off the debt is three thousand dollars. Now that's quite a lot of money. You finished yet? Nope. Okay, cool. I'll be back later. Thank you very much for your glass, lady. Most appreciated. Well, oh, don't push that button yet. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. Clean that up. Now chuck that in there. Clean this up. Clean this up. Oh yeah. You enjoying yourself? You look happy? Yeah, you look absolutely hounded by the plights of hell. Cool. Next. Sir? Sir? Are you on fentanyl? No? You're just facing the wrong way for the arcade machine. I have to make sure. He looked like he was um, proper gonzoed. Alright, cool. Next, we need to go and tidy up outside by the food van because he's a rubbish, a rubbish amount of rubbish. Rubbish in, rubbish in, rubbish in. And let's tidy up here. Alright, let's mooch ourselves back into the bar. There's a lot of people in here again. We need to stop this. We need to stop the flow of people. I mean, in order to stop the flow of people, we would just turn the bar off. Shut that in the dishwasher. Boom. Oh, why did I turn that on? I literally just washed one glass for one dollar. Hello, hello, I just need your glass. Ta, most appreciated. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves tonight. If you have, don't forget to leave a generous tip. Because that's all she's going to earn. Well, actually, she's passed her earning capabilities. I'm now $30 up. Whee! Yeah. 15 seconds until the end of uh, days. I say days, like just it's just. All right, we'll pick that up because that's rubbish. That shouldn't be here. So I have got 10 customers left in the bar. Currently, there's probably going to be a couple here that are going to be ordering more drinks, which is. Cool. And we just start tidying up after everybody now. Go home. You can't stay here. I need to go to bed. Look, I don't care if you're the woman in the red dress. Matrix was years ago. You haven't aged very well since that film. Oh, back in my day, I was a movie star. Oh, I remember the lights and the glamour and all Keanu Reeves. He was such a handsome boy. Yeah, it probably was. Now, you know, you're not so much. I'm sorry to the lady in the red dress. Boom! Let's go. Are you finished? Fantastic. Now, smeg off. I know, I treat my, st I treat my customers the way they should be treated. Like dirt and filth. Dirty people coming into a bar and drinking. Ugh, who do you think you are? Get out! Get out! You're eating a burger wrong. You don't stick your eyeball in it. Right, and wash. You horrible old woman. Take your rubbish with you. Okay, cool, we're level 17. Oh yes, and we're up 1,700 bucks now. That's cool. Oh, and she wasn't happy with her beer, even if she didn't bloody have one. Excellent! I'm writing to inform you that the gift baskets with your beer has been dispatched to their recipients. 
as a token of appreciation, I have transferred $500 to your account for the completion of the order. Your professionalism and dedication has been much, has been truly commendable. Amazing. We're up 500 bucks, guys. All I've got to do, I've got another two thousand, I've got another $800 to make, and then we can get rid of this poxy debt once and for all. Ah. Uh. Yay me, I'm still cleaning up after these poxy, dirty, filthy, smeggy, horrible people that keep coming into my bar. Die! Anyway, apart from that, we're all right. Okay, cool. So Nikolai sold, Nikolai sold about 10 litres. Well done. And we, I can't even remember. Was it Aaron? You sold out, mate. You sold out. You sold out. Excellent. That's good to know. I like that. Thank you very much, Aaron, for your name. You sold out of a beer. That's most appreciated. Anyways, let's whack that up on there. Let's put my empties over here. And we are good. I've got two more. I've got one more day until I have to do lagers again. So, I really, really should just chuck in another beer for now. And then go from there. So, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Brad, Rad Brad or John T7? You know, Rad? Brad. Yeah, I think Brad's going to be the one. Brad, you are now part of the Matrix. You are now the one. I'm going to choose. Oh. I'm going to choose Rad Brad because um, it's just easier at the moment. You know, I don't, I don't know. I, that probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But Rad Brad, welcome to the bar. You should be used up in one whole night. Said I can't handle the keg. Should. And there we go. One berry lager. This one is going to be called Papa Roach. I can't remember who gave me the idea for the lyrics, but thank you very much. And uh, the strawberry lager. Uh, I'm going to call this the Queen. I think someone re referenced Bohemian Rhapsody. And I can't... The, the thing is, is, I asked for all these things, and then I forgot to write them down. Whilst I'm recording this, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know where I put my notepad. Help! So, I, yeah, thank you very much for the suggestions, though. It is most appreciated. It's just I forget things quite quickly. I think I need to start paying attention to myself a bit more. So, yeah, there we go. Anyways, 2,640 dohayas. We're all good. And we now have two lagers. Already brewed, all ready to go. Fan Dabby Ujima flip -tastic. And, unfortunately, Aaron Carver, well, Brad, Rad Brad, didn't quite sell out, but he did all right. Um, and we're down another we're down to 14 liters worth of Nikolai as well so Nikolai is being drained which is quite good it means it's being finished off and that's all right and then we've just got these two here we've got this one to do and then we've got the two lagers to do as well so not too shabby next then I need to quickly look at this la uh, we look 73 reviews between three and five star. I'm all good with that. Most of them are just like, well, I had to wait around for a long time. Yeah, that, that stuff happens. Okay, well, there we go. The Local Brewers Association, the LBA. Dear, ex well, whatever, is that a comma? Yeah, dear comma, we invite you to take part in our brewing contest. The rules are simple. Brew your own beer and send the keg to us. The jury will rate all, your, uh, all the beers based on their creativity. The, the best one wins. Sincerely, Local Brewer Association. So we're going to need to make a four star in five litres. Now, that's not too shabby. The best part about all this is we can use any of these recipes to do it. And what I want to do is I want to do something I've never really done before. I want to do the Hazy IPA. Now, it's for a brewing association, so it has to be a good beer. And this is the only hard beer we have, the Hazy. If I can pull this off in the next video, then I win. It's it's pretty. I reckon it's that simple. If I can get the hazy done, then that's going to be the competition winner because that is an absolute beast of a beer to make. Um, I may even put this into a massive keg because if I can put this into like a forty litre bucket, uh, just boiling it alone is going to be it's going to be a pain in the butt. But at the same time, look how much profit is going to be coming out of this. It's going to be a lot of profit. It's going to be a lot of money. So we'll see how things go. I, I, I'm, I, I don't know. I might even just buy it. I might even just brew up like a, a lager again and go from there. We could just send a lager out. We've got four star beers. I mean, I can literally just take this now and send it off to them and see what happens. I suppose they have to be gold standard as well. The downside to those lagers, they're not gold. They're literally just one. They're, they're like bronze. 
So I need to make a gold star, whatever it is. It has to be a bloody good beer. And I'm thinking the hazy IPA is going to be my ticket up. So if you want to watch that being made, I mean, I, it, might, I may, it, it may cause a little bit of like, you know, problems with myself and not having to do it properly and so on and so forth. So let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm almost, almost done. I mean, what did, what did we unlock? Because I've unlocked like loads of new items and stuff containers we now have all the new glasses we're fine we have glasses coming out of our butts now it's all good we've got a lot of plants i have got to re i have got to do the outdoor outdoor section i've got all these bits of flooring and stuff i've got to buy as well basically all of this stuff is like end game for me it's like as soon as i get to this point we get out of here and then we're all good so oh cool i've got cash signs i think we've unlocked everything now Oh, no, we haven't. Ooh, I've got stuff to do. All right, cool. What have I got new in the furniture? I've got all the racking now. That's all good. Still got, still missing chairs and tables, mainly. So that's all just stuff we need. And then we'll go from there. So, yeah, I can, I can literally say that we're getting to that point of end game. I think collecting three grand and paying off the debt is going to be the next thing we do. So, in the next exciting video of Brewpub Simulator, um, I, what I'm going to do is... Actually, yeah, what I can do is I'm going to I'm going to probably play this uh, through on my own for a sec and I'm going to basically finish off these two because if not, I have to, I have to sell them because when I'm building beers, I have to skip days and I don't want to skip using those. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. Hopefully you guys will join me in the next video. So thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on the channel. Until then, peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do, and keep safe, my friends. Bye-bye for now.